Hey guys, I'm not sure if I'm getting ahead of myself here, but I think I'm in labour. So <laughs> I always said, um, if I go into labour or start feeling contractions and need to just kind of calm my nerves, anxiety, feelings, I don't know. You're supposed to do something that um, induces oxytocin and the kind of love feeling. Do something that you enjoy. And for me, that's makeup, getting creative and then cuddling my cats and relaxing. So that's what I'm going to do. So <laughs> I'm not sure. They must be contractions because they come and go in waves. This could last for days though. So it might be a false alarm. I might never upload this video. Or I might have a baby within the hour. I don't know, that's very unlikely. That, it just does not happen like that. My waters haven't broke. Obviously that doesn't really mean anything though. People give birth and have contractions without their waters breaking. Um, but yeah, let's do some makeup. This is gonna be what, ideally, I want my glam to look like when I'm pushing out a baby. <laughs> Sorry. I know so many people will have drastic opinions about wearing makeup throughout birth, but why not? I mean, I'm not gonna panic if I'm not wearing makeup, but putting on makeup before just makes you feel like I've got this, do you know what I mean? We're all different. I love makeup. Someone else might sit down and start drawing. I'm not going to judge you for that. I'm not going to judge you for doing a bit of art. I'm just going to do some art on my face. It's definitely not established labour though. They're not um, close enough together. You have to have three in ten minutes. So I'll let you know if that starts happening. But um, obviously I'm going to be doing a labour and delivery vlog. I don't know what it's going to be like. Oh my goodness. There's one coming on now. Maybe they are closer together than I thought. They're just not strong enough. Like, I've got a high th pain threshold, but... <sighs> I'll be putting together a vlog for the entirety of labour. <laughs> However long that lasts, whatever my story is, um, that'll be a separate video, but let's do a little get ready with me for now. Estee Lauder double wear. <laughs> You're gonna see me through. I'm expecting my labour to last for a few days, to be honest, and this makeup is not going to stay on for a few days, so we may be doing another get ready with me in the next 24 hours. <laughs> getting a little bit more intense I'm not gonna lie be nice to each other come here it's almost like a good pain <laughs> which probably will not be my opinion in a couple of days time <laughs> but like you know the feeling of when you're sick and then you actually vomit and then you feel that relief afterwards and it's like oh it's almost like worth being sick to feel the relief afterwards it's such a nice feeling that's what it feels like at the moment every time like a contraction comes it is painful and uncomfortable i wouldn't say painful uncomfortable it feels just like a period cramp and then when it goes away it's like oh it's beautiful <laughs> i personally think that this is going to go on for a couple of days i've got five days left technically until my due date so and I've got so much to do. Still need to put her car seat in the car. Okay, I'm gonna have to do that today. <sighs> okay, my skin is starting to look fresher. I've used, just to recap, the Double Wear Estee Lauder Foundation, Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced, um, the Nude Sticks Contour Stick in shade Bondi Bay, which I love. And then the powder is Airspun Translucent Powder love that and I'm using the heat spell um, bronzer and highlight duo by house laboratories Lady Gaga's brand and then the blush is the head rush blush and highlight duo as well by house labs um, what shades are these Kindle and ember and then untamed and intoxicate my skin is definitely looking better for brows, I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade 3.5. I'm 
I've got another twinge, contraction, cramp, but they're not becoming more intense. So maybe this is very, very early stages, but the sun is shining. I'm feeling really good. Obviously I've been the pain every five minutes. Um, yeah, I'm excited to just get a few things done today and know that it's the beginning of the process. I still need to do my eyes actually. Let's just do like a little, just a soft little smoke out with the Soft Glam palette by Anastasia Bella, Bella, Bella v? Uh, yeah. <laughs> What? Beverly Hills, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh, I'm feeling a bit out of breath. Oh, orange soda looks like a nice shade. Let's go all over the lid. I'm not doing anything drastic. I just want to finish a couple of vlogs as well. Set up the prams. I wonder if they're gonna get any more intense. I also wonder if other people would find these extremely intense, these cramps, or if they just would be the same as me, like, oh, it's all right, but it's nothing too extreme. Because as I said, I have got quite a high pain threshold. Period pains or cramps have never really bothered me either. But then maybe I've never had bad periods. <laughs> I don't know. Am I about to have the shock of my life when my real contractions kick in? And I'm like, <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Oh, this is pretty. I'm using orange soda, a burnt orange. Feeling very calm right now, to be honest. Buzzy's gonna go out and do some shopping. He's daring to leave me. <laughs> my mum's actually coming later. She always planned to come this weekend, the weekend before I'm due to give birth, just to see me one last time before baby arrives but she might be in luck she desperately wants to be here for my birth or labor she just wants to be here for the whole thing really bless her she's so excited my first granddaughter mm, makes me so excited oh, i can't wait to meet you little girl i can't wait to tell you guys what her name is as well i'm like 99.9 .9 sure that we have her full name but i just need to see her i need to like put it out into the universe because at the moment it's only been between me and Buzzy and I just need to see if it feels right. Let's just do a little bit of mascara. Do you know what? I've not actually spoke about this yet um, just because I forgot but my lashes all fell out during pregnancy or at least they still are very sparse. I thought that it was because I'd stopped using my lash serum but I didn't realise pregnancy actually makes your lashes full. <coughs> Makes them fall out, they're so stubby now. Like, I used to have the longest lashes. So I hope they all come back after pregnancy. How weird. I thought your hair's supposed to like thrive. Well, my hair is kind of thriving. My lashes are not. They look like they've been burnt off. Okay, let's do a little bit of highlight. I mean, why not? I'm feeling good now. It's been a while since my last cramp. Maybe they're slowing down. Does that happen? Can labour like stop and start? I guess so. I don't know. I'm gonna use. Oh, the mascara I used, by the way, was the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. You guys know how I feel about the mascara. I love it. Um, this is the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. Let's have a little bit of a glow. I fancy going for a little walk later as well. Glow. This is so beautiful. Okay, now I'm obviously gonna be using one of my lip kits, designed, developed, and loved by me this is the hot ombre um lip ombre kit in shade desert grunge which is a gorgeous grungy nude but i'm obviously going to be wearing hot ombre not only because it's my brand and i feel like they're the best liquid lipsticks in the world but because they will last all day but i'm confident that if um i actually <laughs> do end up giving birth within the next 24 hours i will only need to like top this up once or it will just like see me through doesn't rub off under masks so i'm putting step one desert on right now which is like a grungy mauve nude oh they smell good enough to eat oh see i've got another one but it's actually getting fainter now see if these contractions or if this whole labor is a false alarm i'm gonna film this all again because i've thoroughly enjoyed sitting down chat with you guys but it's really calming me down and whether i upload this or not talking to you guys always makes me feel so positive and strong because I feel like I have a responsibility to like inspire and just not perform what's the word like just be someone that's positive for you guys to watch so 
it reassures me in my head that I got this, do you know what I mean? So I just used the step two shade in grunge. So desert grunge just creates this beautiful peachy, dusty sunset nude, which I'm obsessed with. Feels like satin on the lips, does not transfer. Nothing doesn't dry or crack or anything. So go grab some hot ombre if you haven't already. Ombre as well, I have been telling the story a little bit more lately because obviously ombre means to blend flawlessly between light and dark. And that's why I called this brand hot ombre because the hot topic for years was the ombre lip trend. And ombre to me is part of my journey. Um, pioneering like the ombre lip trend since like 2014 or 15 and obviously ombre um meaning like the perfect blend between light and dark is what makeup is all about all makeup not just your lips and for me when i think of the perfect blend between light and dark i think of inclusivity i think of it being a whole human race that should blend and be united together so that's pretty deep but to be honest that is what Hot Ombre ignites in me and why I named my brand Hot Ombre Cosmetics. Little story time for you. <laughs> okay, that's my face done. Just gonna put some curls through my hair. Uh, in between these contractions or whatever they are. Something's going on down there, guys. I mean, I'm five days away from my due date. Something's about to be going on. <laughs> it's not exactly surprising, is it? I've got my hair half up because that's where I clip my extensions to. So I only have to style this top bit of my hair. Genius. I'm getting hot. these waves I've used the GHD tri-zone technology oh, I'm not sure what the wand is called but it looks like this it's like one of their waivers love it um, I'm feeling good actually feeling motivated to get a little bit done about the house unbox the prams <laughs> but if this is the real deal I'll keep you updated and it's been a fun get ready with me whilst in labor <laughs> I'll leave all of the products that I've used on my face below in the description box. I better go and prepare to birth a child. <laughs> Love you lots, beauties. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye. Hey guys, just checking in. Um, it's been about 16 hours since I filmed that little get ready with me. And my makeup, I've not topped it up once. Um, still intact, but no baby is here. However, I'm in more pain right now than I have been all day. I thought I'd just let you know, um, well, firstly, how the makeup is worn, because I mean, even the lips, I haven't even topped up the lips, maybe not 16 hours. I filmed that about 8 a.m. this morning. Yeah, it's like 10 p.m. right now. Just here with my bump and <laughs> my other little fur baby. Oh, you're so cute, but yeah. Watch this space, guys. Um, but her heart rate does keep dropping, so I hope it's okay. I mean, 